fundamentally, there's a mismatch between supply and demand. With the end of the pandemic, we're returning to normal and there's more people wanting to use gas than are currently able to supply it. That's going to change and prices will come back down again, but people think that will take about one to two years. So we're part of the regional European gas market and the others are Asia and America. And in Europe, most of the supply comes from either Norway or Russia, and then the United Kingdom with the North Sea is number three. But our stocks have been declining for years. Well, we will be increasing our investment in low carbon power, and the long term future is almost certainly some mix of nuclear and renewables and other things we've not invented yet. And that's called the low carbon transition. How do you get from a world which is nearly all fossil fuels to a world which is nearly all renewable? The trouble is to get there, you still need fossil fuels. Nuclear power isn't good enough to operate all of the time and provide all of our power. It takes too long to switch on and off. Renewables are intermittent, they need backing up. And the only form of backup at the moment that's affordable and secure is gas. Well, in the UK, we've got two good options. One is to make the North Sea regime a lot simpler. We overregulate the North Sea and put lots of complex taxes and regulations on it, which discourages investment. The North Sea isn't a bottomless reserve. It will run out eventually, but that would, that's not the case yet. And we could do a lot more there. The second area we've got is onshore fracking. This is something where the UK is sitting on one of the best reserves in Europe, but has decided for political reasons to stop anybody developing it, which means that at the moment we are importing fracked gas from the United States rather than using our own supplies. Well, we recognise the problem and we recognise that the market alone will not deliver a solution. So what we look at is carbon taxation and specifically carbon taxation that's economy wide and as simple as possible so that we're not creating lots of micro taxes and regulations and letting the government pick winners when it doesn't know what the best solutions to climate change might be.